All right, one more attempt, because I like that. Uh, I would like more consistent. I am going to delete these splits, because they are way too good to run against. Technically, yes. If... Well, I'm just thinking, because I'm kind of lazy. If I get control of the sub, I'm probably not going to... <laughs> scrutinize anything. Specifically, since this is pretty much for fun. Like, there's no big competition between people for it. It's not highly competitive. But yeah, technically, you are meant to document your run. At least, obviously, record it. Uh, recording it, you don't actually need the splits because a moderator is just meant to watch the run and manually time it anyway. And that's like what the verification process is meant to be. But since the actual speed run page is dead, uh, I have to wait till my account is 30 days old, which sucks because I'd wish I'd made an account. Planned. Yeah, like the in-game time is fine too. The only thing with the in-game time though is there's no way to separate a say 50 minute save file and a 50 minute and say 59 seconds since it doesn't show the the seconds. But there's not enough people on there anyway for that to be a huge thing. Like even my, my old save I could just say it's a 30 minute run. It's only because of the splits that I've got the 33 seconds attached to it. I think I've gone it consistently down to about 35 minutes, at least from like doing the intros to uh, any of my further speedruns. Granted, a big thing though for, for Dimension 2 and Dimension 3 is you gotta save quest gold. Whereas if you're doing any percent and what I should probably be doing is just turning it in because you get armor, you get a better weapon, you get some extra gold. Yeah, see, well, I don't know if they count to, to the real time, but theoretically, stuff like that, you'd be able to pause the timer. Like, that's what would be fair to essentially time it in a sense that's just the run portions, not so much the... or any ads or anything that essentially takes it away from the game. Usually with, like, competitive things, they don't like segmented, but I would, I would be 100% fine with segmented. To be honest, until until I get moderation of the speedrun page, it's whatever. And then even when I do, it's it's still whatever. It just becomes whatever uh, I want or whatever a us as a community, whoever I can actually get to to compete with me wants. And to be honest, I would lean in favor of segmented runs, especially for for all dimensions. Like, I would much rather do whatever, say, D1 to D3, and then the next day come back, continue the timer, and do D3, D4, and so on. It's just what's easiest and convenient. There's no reason to get, like, butthurt about someone working around what they can, like, realistically do with the time they have spare, especially considering the All Dimensions run is going to be excessive. Even an any percent run for for a casual person, wouldn't it be better to be more accommodating? You'd be able to attract so many more people to actually run the game if there's just a slight lax on the rules. Anyway, that's my view. Just looking at like uh, any of the Dark Souls runs or anything where they're super over the top on timing. Even Minecraft, the runs for that are way too scrutinized. Yeah, exactly. The community should have the say, and they should obviously determine what they're all capable of doing, rather than having, oh, you have to time in this exact manner, you know, all these different laws that are not necessary. Anyway, last attempt, and then I will do the full D1 to D3 run.
I'm actually really happy that that run didn't get through. I just would have been gutted if we got near the end and it ended up being like 31 minutes. I'd rather just consistent splits all throughout. Yeah. Which is fine, if that's the medium you're using to do it, the ads won't, won't, should, shouldn't be considered. It's like um, any speedrun that that pauses when there's a loading screen because of difference in computer power. Like, it's, it's the same concept. A ad is technically, you know, in between at the segment and is therefore considered the, the game loading for the most part. Slightly slow. Okay. Turn auto off. Don't go past five. Just do it manually. Who do we even guess? We're getting lots of pelts again, which is nice, because at least we can sell it. Almost got me that time. I should probably look into the becoming active in the Discord. It's probably the best way to put it. Ah, we get the gold. I should be happy about that. It's just more consistent to farm. But yeah, I should, I should join the Discord properly. And oh, I know there's rules against promoting, but I could probably just discuss in a sense that pushes people towards trying out the speedrun or looking into the speedrun. It's so unfortunate we only got one so junky there. Would like to. Means like we wouldn't have taken an animation there, the boss would have been cleared as well. We also haven't got any healing stone, except for the quest one. I do need to buy one more. Slash not, because we don't really have the gold. Granted I didn't sell anything. Right, so I think what we've been doing like eight minutes fifty-ish, excluding the warp run. I only have to save a minute overall. That should be enough to get me under thirty.
Oh, we get the gold. That's nice. Manual, but don't get over us. This is a horrible one. And this scenario, I probably should have cleaned up these two first because I should be able to deal with them in single hit. Right, yeah. Just so we didn't take so much damage. If only you had the soda scripts from the start. All you have to change is default attack to strongest instead of weakest. No, because then it continuously cycle around in HP. Because even though it looks for the highest HP, obviously after you attack them they're no longer the highest. It needs to be a highest max HP, I guess. Or just to categorize these as something other than normal. There's normal enemies, like this guy, who doesn't have a special ability. And then pseudo elites, as I keep calling them, like the slugs that do have an ability. Uh, should probably have healed him up. Oh, nah, I'm too late. I can't focus the slug now. Once we're down to one, get everyone above eight, so they're two hits for the boss, and then we should be in a good position. Perfect. And you attack the right one as well. Okay, so we're not worried about healing anymore, we just want damage. That's actually really nice because they're all back attacks. We get the gold. Even if we don't get the gold, we're, we're ahead again. And we get the gold. <laughs> yeah, okay, this is a much better star because it's like consistent. Wizard's Tower. Quests. Oh. Upgrades, one and one. Uh, we have five, it takes 30. You have to sell some stuff, but you can make the iron swords. Uh, so, don't need the bottle. Don't need the pelts. Don't need the mushrooms. The gland. Actually, I haven't got any bone, which is fine for this run. You'd want at least one bone going into D2. We have the iron sword. We go. Okay, don't get greedy this time. Let the game just do its thing. Slash be quicker. I can't help myself. I gotta manually do it. Just so we deal with the right enemies. I do have to watch the health and let the game heal. Why? That was dumb with me. Gave that whole spiel and then I turn it, turned it back on. Flies are actually the worst. Because of their speed. If you let them live too long, they'll get two attacks in a row. That's a first. I was sure that mini boss is guaranteed to drop a key. I think that's the first time I haven't had it drop a key. I wonder if we'll get the prompt at any other point. Slash, we missed out on a warp in that case. Should have probably just taken a path to skip this. Fly dies, and then auto's fine. Healing, you're dead anyway. Uh, this should do more damage than a back attack. I think back attack is like six. Perfect. We're way ahead on time. This actually might be the run.
We have plenty of gold to craft iron shields and another sword. It's looking good. Uh, ch -ch -ch. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We have a wood. 1, 2, that's the sword. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That was one, that was two too many. So I sell some stuff. Essentially, you just want to... Uh, I can't actually sell anything. Two cartons, it's fine. You want to give whoever has the iron sword to shields. Do that. Forget that you were meant to split. Always has to be one. We should be in a good position. Path, great your decisions. It's not too slow. Granted, I wish it was before we bought the iron. I think there's. It might be under. Uh, if you right click on it, an edit layout option. Or you might actually have to load the splits, like save it and load the splits. Ooh, there's our key and our prompt. Yeah, there's like open splits. To be honest, I can just put the splits up online. That's easy for you. Oh, no, in the streaming software. I just, uh, oh, with that, uh, use like a specific window capture rather than a screen capture. For whatever reason, I've noticed on like Word or anything that has text, it makes it blurry. And don't resize it in the software, resize it on your actual screen with the splits. Okay, the boss should be fine. Doing plenty of damage. Now we shouldn't have to worry about healing. Nope. Oh well. Should be able to do it this round. Yeah, trial and error. Okay, I think usually I'm at about 15 minutes here. Well, it's looking good. Uh, oops. How do I go back? Six. Uh, oops, there's not enough in the tavern anyway, so that's fine. Need to hire, uh, but we also need to craft. Need two more. One, two, three, four. One, two. So at this point, you wouldn't actually turn in the quest if you were continuing to add the next dimension. Since we're doing any percent, I can go ahead, grab the armor, get shafted on the tavern. Just need five. I'm actually going to craft another iron sword since we have a ludicrous amount of gold. I have the wood. No, you have the wood. Perfect. Ah, uh, we have the iron. Come on. I just need five patrons. You're sucking up all my time. Thank you. Make sure one of them's over there. Actually, two of them. Uh, we'll give you the second one. Slash you as well. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. Should have hired a bit more cleanly. We've got the HP. We definitely have the damage now. Ooh. The next goal is a thousand gold by the Mystics. Uh, thank you. It's really good too, because it skips the middle of the segment. Because you still want to do bosses and try and get the chest gold. That's a really nice warp, just a slight time save.
Oh, no one's dying. I wonder if we can one around this. Perfect. Hmm. Do I attempt to go to 60 in one go? We've got the damage. We've still got a decent amount of healing left. Yeah, I guess we do. We are behind on gold though. The only issue. Because Mystics for clearing 70 onwards are just so much quicker. If you ask if there was any way to like stockpile gold and get them quicker, they'd, they'd make the time so much better. Like if you could get them as at 440 or something. Looks like we're going to be fine. of so 8 heals, 3, 11. Cool. Burst check, all survived. Seven heals left, three rooms. We can essentially lose. Never mind. We can easily do the boss now. I should have done, dealt with the jello first, since it has a. Yeah, fire blast. Slow animation. Somewhat tempted to try for 60, 70, but I think you need, if you don't have Mystics, you need at least a full party. Hopefully we get the chest gold. That'd be perfect. Oh, it's going to be really close. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. <laughs> I do find it a bit sad with magic. Uh, I want to earn the quest. I should be doing stuff in the meantime. We get a dagger, we get a bunch of gold. Uh, we're buying the mystics. We could actually buy the bed here. Is that was that the right call? Actually no. It does taste or it does cost a lot of gold to reset. Uh, we get two mystics. I'm gonna reset looking for yeah, at least two more. I know we can definitely do 70 with this. Scratch that, I'm one gold short. I'm surprised about the MTG, because I did a, a different video on it, uh, I don't know, like maybe a month ago, and that got, that went nowhere. But then I guess the controversy has been steadily growing. It's it's just sad, but it's it's pretty clear the direction they're taking. I mean, they I think I saw something. They took down their reprint policy. Uh, they're zoning in on on proxy sellers. But just uh, it definitely seems like they're just going to reprint everything. Got to split again. 
this looks like it's going to be the run. And then I'm, I guess I'm done with any percent for a while. Reset our mana. I can just squeeze in like a 20 floor run. It'd be perfect. I release two. Now we can still melee attack this first one. Right, perfect. Don't mess up any clicks. You are a godsend. So I should be able to do all the way till 90 now because of that healing fairy. Uh, I have to melee the boss, hope that no one dies and I can definitely do till 80 in one run. Good, this is an AoE, no one dies, as long as you are done. Or we can go straight to 90 and this is going to be a really good run. Hopefully, I haven't messed this up. Perfect. It's slightly risky, because I think the snails will live. Any of the pseudo-elite enemies will live. Yeah. Because I would want more. Finally, we got the wall. And no one's dying from poison. Yeah. I don't know if you want to melee this boss. This boss could be awful if it uses its distorts. I'm hoping we can do it in one round. Thank god. I have five casts, so that's six, seven, eight, nine, so it's perfect. Ambush, don't kill a mystic. It's fine. Boss is going to be tight though. Uh, okay, that's really bad. I didn't cast. Ah, oh, not punished. I almost killed that run trying to go for that boss at that point. I didn't have the HP. Give me, just give me six. Four's fine. I can do it with four. Ambush, don't care. Kill whoever you want, just not the mystics. Be like sub 28, maybe.
Casting them might have been quicker. I should probably save the healer. Uh, there's only one elite here, so we're fine. Oh, is the cauldron a pseudo elite? We'll find out. So these two should be. No, you are as well. It's fine, we sorted it alright. You should be able to heal up here though. No, I just ran to the same thing, didn't I? The cauldron. Cauldron dies? Uh, my mind's everywhere right now. Uh, healing fairy, skip the floor. Get our mana back. Okay. All cauldrons, cauldrons are the ones that die in three. Correct? Perfect. Question is, do I melee or do I cast? Because meleeing is going to be a lot quicker. Uh, the rapier is probably, or the saber is quicker. Oh, it's 18. Okay, so cast. Except for a back attack. Right? No. Just always cast. Always cast. Kill the so jumpy first, please. No. Should have enough damage. Should have enough damage. Okay, the slicer is great, because it does pitiful amounts. Missed. It's really good, everyone survives. Do I take around to heal up? Oh, no. So if he does Shadow Slicer again, I'm screwed. If he doesn't, I win. No, I win anyway. Ah! It's not sub 28. Damn, and <laughs> oh, I completely forgot to split. Not that I am ever going to run against these splits, but I do it again. I'm just gonna delete it anyway. Oh, 28 minutes. 28 minutes. Oh, dimension one. Oh. And I've perfectly set up, so we've got our main run, we have the most time. This will be all dimensions, and then a 28 minute save file that we will never touch. Just to be sure, I'm going to back it up. The, the crummy thing, though, is we could do a lot better if we just got better warp RNG. I mean, I got pretty lucky that run, but there are just... Uh, well, actually, I think two of the warps I had were only, like, four floors. So, if you really were to sit down and grind it out, you could probably get 25 minutes. I think you could feasibly cut off another, another three minutes through warping, and then if we could find a way to get the mystics earlier. Yeah, four, four floors is typical, that's the whole thing. But you can get up to, I think you can get up to like nine or ten maybe. I've had ones that have, where have they gone from? I think they've gone from like a two to a four, which would be twelve. Like a, I should say two to a fourteen or something like that. I would need to relook. There's definitely ones that, yeah, with the wizard, they're longer. You'd have to look into it. If that's, okay, so let me rephrase. If there are higher warps, then you can you could easily get, well, not easily, but you could get a better time than this. Like this run was not perfect. I did mess up a few things. Yes, we got lucky in some aspects, but I think you could do, I'm not gonna try. Well, at least not till I'm done with all dimensions. Oh, Quick break, and then I will do a 
D1 to D3 run and maybe map out a bit of D4. Thank you.